It began as a whisper, an image that was never meant to be seen, an anomaly buried deep in the raw data of the James Webb Space Telescope. At first, only a handful of astronomers noticed the glitch in the spectrographic data, a pattern too precise, too rhythmic, too artificial. It wasn't a cosmic dust flare. It wasn't a dying star. And it definitely wasn't a comet. It was something else. Something cold, calculated, and terrifying. The object in question, 3I Atlas, an interstellar visitor already known for defying the rules of physics. But this new leak, captured during a classified James Webb observation, would change everything we thought we knew. If what the data suggests is true, then 3 Atlas isn't just another mysterious traveler from deep space. It may be watching us. And now for the first time, the truth is leaking out. If you're fascinated by these kinds of revelations and want to stay updated as more leaks emerge, make sure you subscribe. It's only going to get stranger from here. When 3 I Atlas was first spotted, astronomers assumed it was another interstellar comet. After all, we had seen this before with Oumuamua and Borisov. Strange objects from other star systems swinging past our sun and vanishing into the void. But 3 Atlas immediately set itself apart. It wasn't just its trajectory or its velocity that raised eyebrows. It was how it behaved. Unlike typical comets, which develop a visible coma of water vapor and dust when they approach the sun, 3E e Atlas stubbornly refused to follow the script. No coma, no tail, no water. Instead, it emitted only carbon dioxide and in large quantities, while remaining eerily silent in all other spectrographic readings. NASA pointed the powerful infrared spectrometer aboard the Spherex Observatory at the object, expecting to find confirmation of water or carbon monoxide, two gases almost always present in comets. But the result, nothing. Just carbon dioxide. No water, no carbon monoxide. A chemical profile never before recorded in the history of space observation. What kind of object emits CO2 exclusively? The answer was unsettling. None that we know of. Not even the strangest comets in our solar system match this behavior. And if it wasn't acting like a comet and it wasn't an asteroid, then what was it? As public interest grew, NASA remained unusually silent. But behind closed doors, a more powerful telescope had already been pointed at three Atlas. The James Webb Space Telescope, known for its unprecedented resolution and spectrographic detail, was secretly tasked with observing the object on August 6, 2025. No images were released. No press conference followed. Just silence. But now a leaked report from an internal NASA analyst reveals what Webb might have captured. An object with no natural coma, but surrounded by a perfectly symmetrical CO2 halo, extending hundreds of thousands of kilometers into space. Even stranger, the infrared signature revealed an unusual brightness, originating not from sunlight reflection, but from within the object itself. Was 3i Atlas emitting artificial light? According to the leaked spectrographic breakdown, the emissions bore similarities to engineered photonic systems, meaning light patterns used in telecommunications or data transmission. The wavelengths weren't random. They were repeating structured like a cosmic Morse code. And if that weren't enough, the object was also measured to be 46 kilometers in diameter, far larger than any other known interstellar object and too large statistically to simply appear randomly. For a rock of that size to enter our solar system from interstellar space would mean one of two things. Either our understanding of the universe is wildly flawed, or this object was sent here on purpose. Perhaps the most terrifying revelation wasn't about the object's size or its chemistry or its emissions. It was the path it took. Three Atlas didn't enter the solar system on some chaotic slingshot course like Oumuamua. It came in perfect alignment with the orbital plane of the planets, a trajectory with only a 1 in 500 chance of occurring naturally. In other words, it flew in like a drone following a flight plan. It passed near multiple planets, including Earth, before heading deeper into the solar system. Avi Loeb, the controversial Harvard astrophysicist who made headlines with his theories about Oumuamua, called the trajectory technologically suggestive. He noted that the object's approach angle was not only precise, but designed to optimize observations from Earth-based and orbital telescopes, almost as if it wanted to be seen, but not fully understood. And remember, this object's origin point traces back to the Sagittarius constellation, 
the same region of space where the infamous WOW signal was detected in 1977. That signal to this day remains one of the most credible pieces of evidence for an artificial transmission from deep space. Now ask yourself, what are the odds that the most enigmatic object ever observed in our solar system comes from the exact same region? As speculation mounted, a new theory began to emerge, one not grounded in science fiction, but in engineering feasibility. What if 3i Atlas wasn't a comet or asteroid at all, but a technologically augmented object? Imagine this, a massive asteroid from a distant star system, hollowed out and retrofitted with internal machinery, sensors, or even an artificial habitat encased in dense rock to protect against cosmic radiation, with a thin outer layer designed to sublimate CO2 to mask its internal structure. It would appear natural to distant observers unless someone looked closer. This concept isn't new. In fact, it's been proposed by scientists here on Earth as a method for interstellar travel. Asteroid ships that use existing rocky bodies as natural shielding for long-duration space missions. Such an object could travel for thousands of years across space, powered by dormant engines or advanced propulsion systems hidden beneath a kilometre-thick crust. The SphereX images combined with the spectrographic leak from Webb suggest that this might not be theory anymore. We might be looking at one right now, and if it is an artificial object, then the implications are staggering. Someone or something sent it. While most public data releases from James Webb focus on exoplanets, distant galaxies and cosmic background radiation, the encrypted internal logs leaked by anonymous sources inside NASA reveal something unexpected in the light curves emitted from three atlas. According to this report, what was initially interpreted as random thermal emission began displaying an unmistakable modulation pattern. At first glance, it looked like flickering, an optical illusion perhaps caused by the object's rotation. But upon deeper spectral decomposition, the pulses matched prime number sequences, the kind often proposed by SETI scientists as a universal mathematical language for contact. These weren't natural. They weren't coincidental. They were repeating at precise intervals, mimicking beacon-like transmissions across multiple infrared bands. What truly sent chills down the spines of analysts, however, was the discovery of a silent gap between these bursts of light, a long pause almost as if something was listening, waiting for a reply. It was no longer just a matter of observing 3i Atlas. It was as though this object was actively observing us back. NASA's response, immediate lockdown of all observational data, Observatories were told to cease attempts to track or publicly publish new findings. The story was dead to the media. But for those who had seen the light signature, there was no turning back. Following the leak of the internal web data, an unusual uptick in satellite redirection requests was reported across both NASA and ESA channels. But these weren't standard reorientations for routine calibration. They were reassignments directed from military defense agencies specifically NORAD and the U.S. Space Force. Within 48 hours of the observation leak, the X-37B, a classified military space plane, was launched into low Earth orbit on an unannounced mission. Its payload remains a mystery, but orbital path reconstructions suggest a highly elliptical trajectory with line-of-sight potential toward 3I Atlas's projected path. Why would the U.S. military deploy its most secretive space platform in response to an anomalous asteroid, what were they preparing to do? Observe it or intercept it? Behind closed doors, defense briefings began classifying 3i Atlas under a new threat category, technological unknowns of extraterrestrial origin. Two EOS. These internal memos were never meant to be public, but once exposed, they confirmed what many had suspected. This object wasn't just being treated as a scientific anomaly, it was now considered a strategic concern, a concern that might warrant a response.